Hey you guys, my name is Courtney and today is part one of the Rope Twine Yarn Oh My DIYs. So let's dive into this first DIY. For this one, you're gonna need to pick up one of these schnazzy flamingos from Dollar Tree. Now this DIY is actually a long time coming. A while back, I made over one of these flamingos but I didn't shoot a tutorial for it. So now I'm making a little friend for that and showing you guys how I did it. Your first step is just gonna be to go ahead and take off all of that schnazzy tinsel and then you do wanna to go ahead and save those googly eyes so put them aside we're not actually gonna be using those but we're gonna do a little surgery on them and I'll show you that in a minute once you get the tinsel off I did go ahead and open up the flamingo and where the little I guess the parts had little connector snaps I guess you could call it I just put a little bit of hot glue I went ahead and did that to make sure that my flamingo would stay together. And now you kind of have all these little knobs. It kind of looks like a, I don't know, a stegosaurus type flamingo. And we don't want those knobs on there. So to trim those off, I'm going to use my little rounded Fisker scissors. I love these things. They are perfect for getting super close cuts. And I'm just going to go through the whole flamingo and trim off all the knobs. Once the knobs are all um, chopped off, you're gonna grab your yarn. This is the scrubby yarn from Michaels. I really like it because it's multicolored and then it has all the little, I guess, hairs that stick off of it. My other Flamingo, I did use the same brand yarn. It was just a different kind of pink color palette. And I'm gonna start wrapping this yarn around my Flamingo. I'm gonna start up at the beak and just take a little bit of hot glue. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start wrapping his body. When you get to the belly portion of the flamingo, you are gonna have to feed this yarn through a little holes by his legs. So I went ahead and cut the yarn and then the best I could, it's hard to thread through a needle, but get it through a needle and then this makes it so easy to just thread through that hole and then do that. And then you probably will run out of yarn, which is fine. Just go ahead and anchor it to the flamingo, pick up some more yarn and continue wrapping. Once I did one pass through one way, I went ahead and did another pass through the opposite way. Now that the body is wrapped, we're gonna work on the legs. And to do that, I'm gonna use some twine. So I'm just gonna take some hot glue. I'm gonna start at the very top of the leg. I'm gonna go ahead and anchor it up there and then just wrap all the way down the leg, all the way on his little foot. I don't know if that's what it's actually called. Um, and then on the very front, there's like a little lip. I kind of just twirled the twine to make it fit there. Now, on the back of his little foot, there are two little knobs. You may see those. I didn't cut those off because if you cut those off, you're a little flamingo. When you go to stand him up, he's going to faint and just fall over and he's never going to stand up. He's just going to be a laying down flamingo. So don't trim those little things off if you want your flamingo to stand up. If you prefer your flamingo to lay down, that's fine too. Just trim those knobs off. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap both the legs with the twine using that hot glue to secure it. Now that the legs are good to go, they were a little too hairy for me, so I am going to do the little lighter trick. You guys know what I say about this. Be careful, keep water nearby, proceed with caution. Um, and I just went ahead and burned it off, but hey, you know what? The hairy legs give it charm, so if you want to leave it, totally fine. Then once that's finished, I'm going to take some black yarn and I'm going to go ahead and work on his beak. And it's going to get two wraparounds as well. I'm going to start at the very top of his beak where the pink yarn is. Put some hot glue down, put the yarn down, wrap it down, wrap it back up, and it's good to go. Thank you. 
the last step for our flamingo is to give it some eyeballs. Now, the googly eyes were a little too googly for me, so I'm actually going to do a little bit of surgery here. I'm going to cut these eyeballs and pull out the pupils, and I'm going to trim those little black circles down because they were a little big. It is actually a little plastic material inside of there. Now, you certainly could do several things to get eyeballs. If you have tiny black beads, that would be great. You could also do black little buttons if you wanted to. You could use some black hot glue if you have the color glue glue sticks. The flamingo that you're going to see in just a second that I did first, I actually saved some of the little knobbies that I cut off of the flamingo and I just painted them black. But that's all I'm going to do is just trim these down. And then once I get them trimmed, I'm just going to hot glue it to the side of his face. And then that's it. This flamingo is all finished. For the next DIY, you're going to need some type of soft container. Now that could be a paper cup, that could be a plastic cup, or I have this container left over from the wood biscuits. But the thing is, is I need the top to be nice and open. So I am going to go ahead and cut off the top with my box cutter, pull off the label. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and go all the way around your container cutting strips. You want them to be about the same size and you're going to cut almost to the very bottom of the container. Now that my container's cut, I've pushed it down and I'm gonna start with some of this Dollar Tree rope and I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the bottom and then pull it through one little section or through two of the little uh, strips and go underneath that strip. The next one, I'm going to go over it, then under, then over, then under, then over, and I'm gonna keep going around. Now what you're gonna find is as you go up, those little strips are gonna start pulling themselves up. So you're gonna start seeing a basket take shape and that's what you're going for. So it's just a continuous over, under, over, under, over, under until you get to the very top of the strips. So here you can see how the plastic pieces just kind of naturally pulled up into this basket shape. I did run out of rope, but I wanted to keep wrapping. So I simply just hot glued the rope where it stopped and then hot glued a new piece in and just continued wrapping around. Now, when you get to the very top of the plastic pieces and you're finished, this is the way I finished it off. I went ahead and just hot glued that top rope layer, the pieces together where they meet. And then I just trimmed off any of the plastic piece that I didn't want. And then the extra little tail, I just kind of hot glued it into the inside of the basket. And that's it. Now you've got yourself a little basket. You could use any type size rope for this. You could use twine if you want a more tight look. You could use yarn. So lots of options here on what material you use. This next DIY is nothing new, rope coasters. We've all seen them, but I wanted to add a little twist to it. So I'm actually gonna be using two different types of rope, both from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start by burning off all the little hairs off the brown nautical rope. Then taking the two pieces of rope, I'm just gonna put them side by side. I'm gonna start in the center of my coaster. I'm just gonna use hot glue to secure this as I go. And I'm just gonna start wrapping in a circle until I get it the size that I want it. Once it's finished on the ends, I'm just going to go ahead and trim those and then secure them up with some hot glue and that's it. I just think this is such a fun look. It kind of definitely beefs up just a plain rope coaster and these are great for any type of cold drink.
The fourth DIY involves a Dollar Tree rope, and I'm actually very proud of this project. It was a hanger that I made with Dollar Tree supplies that got me featured on their Instagram page. So I'm very, this is one of my favorite DIYs I've ever made. I'm gonna start with a piece of Dollar Tree white foam board, and I just traced a circle using one of their vases as a template, and I'm just gonna cut out the piece of the foam board. Once that's cut out, I'm ready to start wrapping it with rope. So I'm gonna use some of the white rope from Dollar Tree. It's the thicker one. And I'm going to take a bead of hot glue and I'm going to put it along the edge of the piece of foam board. That way I'm covering up the foam board versus putting it on top. And I'm going to wrap around one time. Now that the first white round is finished of rope, I'm gonna take the brown nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna hot glue it directly to the top of the white. Once the brown goes around, then I'm gonna grab the white, glue that directly to the top of the brown, and this is where you can decide how many times you wanna wrap it around. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping until I get it as high as I want it, and then I'll be ready to get it finished up. Once I got it the height that I wanted, I just went ahead and just took the white rope, I put some hot glue in it and just kind of smushed it down and shaped it to the hanger. And then I trimmed off the extra brown rope and did the same thing. I just hot glued it to the top of the plant hanger. Now I flipped it over. Now the back, you can see the white foam board and I didn't want to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and swirl my rope on the bottom to get that nice and covered up, alternating again with the brown and the white and just using hot glue to get that attached. For the hanger, I just took three pieces of the brown nautical rope and I tied a knot at the top. And then to get these attached, I'm just going to use some hot glue and glue hot glue them directly into the inside, making sure I kind of hold the hanger up so that I get it nice and even. And then your last step here is just to go ahead and add whatever greenery you would like to add, whether it's greenery, florals, it's up to you. You could even use this as a pen holder if you want to, lots of options. And that's it, you've got yourself a rope hanger. And the final Dollar Tree DIY is gonna be using one of these trays. Now, the first thing I did was go ahead and paint this with some of the Truffle Waverly Chalk Paint. You certainly could spray paint this, but I am painting it brown because I'm gonna be working with the brown nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Once it was all painted and covered, I grabbed my rope and then this is customizable. You wanna grab whatever yarn colors you want to have accents in your tray. So these are fall colors because I did make this for a fall DIY, but you could do red and green for Christmas. You could do pink and red and white for Valentine's Day. You could do whatever you want, yellow and turquoise for summer. It's up to you. So you're gonna start first by taking your nautical rope and whatever yarn you chose, and you're just going to start wrapping segments of the yarn. They can be as wide as you want, as close together. This Again, this is super customizable. You can space them all out evenly if you want to. You can make you know thicker little sections, thinner sections, totally up to you. Once your nautical rope is all wrapped with the yarn, then we're ready to get it attached to our tray.
The final step here is to go ahead and get our rope attached to the tray. So I'm gonna start on the outside edges of the tray and I'm just gonna use hot glue and I am just going to put some hot glue down, set the rope down, hot glue rope, and I'm just going to keep wrapping until I get it all the way wrapped, working my way towards the center of the tray as the last part that gets wrapped. And there you have it, part one of my rope twine and yarn oh my DIY series. Keep your eyes open for part two. It will be coming with five new DIYs for you. Let me know down below which one of these was your favorite. Also let me know, do you have a preference? Do you like rope, twine, yarn, perhaps string? Which one of those is usually your go-to? I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.